It's half past 8 a.m. here in Ghana. One of the alleged witches comes in the country and the inmates are already up and going about their daily routine of activities. I have come here to interact with these people who have had to live life alone without family or any form of support in their new home. The young and the aged all live here and have to fend for themselves. The look on their faces show hunger, depression, anxiety, fear, and suffering. This 90-year-old blind woman has lived here for over 20 years. On hearing about the presence of the news team, she could not hold her tears because for two days she was yet to eat a meal. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, why? Kafra, in subium, eh? In su, in su, why? Be ye, why? Ha, do you have any why? Like this blind woman, feeding once a day has become a big challenge for the inmates. I normally eat around 2 or 3 p.m. And after that, that is all for the day until the next day. Kayonsa Wukandimpa. Kaki Yetu Ashir Benzat and Ati Shikuma. Wahala Vietepa. This 14 year old boy who lives with the mother here in the camp shares his plight. Um, I live with my mother. And if I'm to go to school, there is no enough food. So my mother will prepare the leftover and I'll eat and go to school. If I go to school, there is no money. So I don't get food in school. And if I come back, there is no food at home again. As you can see, this year is what we are going to eat for the whole day. Is what I'm going to eat with my mother. We, we will not get food again. Chief of the community blamed the situation on the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent harsh economic conditions in the country. Leader of the inmates at the Ngani camp told the news team, life is tough and unbearable, making some inmates to wish death upon themselves. <laughs> Feeding once a day is a challenge. We used to get support from individuals and organizations, but now it's only Sontaba that supports us. We are suffering. In 2008, government, through the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, introduced the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty, LEAP program to reduce poverty by increasing and smoothening consumption and promoting access to services and opportunities amongst the extremely poor. However, the paltry amount, which has been in arrears for the past eight months, is not enough to deal with their financial needs in these challenging times. Executive Director at Songtaba, Hajia Lamnatu Adams, whose organization has been supporting the inmates with food items, shares in their plight. No news that living conditions have been very demanding and challenging, especially for all of us, especially for women. And if we want to talk about even women in their diversity, for women who are excluded, it's even more harder. And one of the groups that we work with is the alleged witches. And currently their major challenge is how to feed. We know how expensive food items have been. And for women who do not already do anything, very old and frail, I mean, nobody needs to say that this is also a bigger worry to us, especially with those who work very closely to them. And so my plea is for government to have a quick response towards um, you know, at, at least some food aid. I think this is about time for government to again look at how some excluded people are finding it difficult to feed. But beyond government, 
we're also asking philanthropists, we're asking individuals, institutions to support in any way that they can. That is why as an organization, one of the quickest response we have is what we call the FACO fund. FACO is a social relief fund that we think that when individuals are able to donate to us, we'll be able to support these women. Goal one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which Ghana is a signatory to, envisage to address poverty and the inequalities existing in the society that puts certain social groups into disadvantage. As Parliament takes steps to pass the anti-witchcraft bill to complement government's efforts towards disbanding the various alleged witches camps, it is important to, in the interim, consider the welfare of the over 300 alleged witches living in the various camps in the northern enclave. This will require not only government efforts, but also the support of the entirety of the Ghanaian public and even beyond. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News, Ngane Witches Camp, Northern Region.